Rossby gravity waves are equatorially trapped waves much like Kelvin waves, meaning that they rapidly decay as their distance increases away from the equator, so long as the brunt vijala frequency does not remain constant. These waves have the same trapping scale as Kelvin waves, more commonly known as the equatorial Rossby deformation radius. They always carry energy eastward, but their crests and troughs may propagate westward if their periods are long enough. Topic: <laughs> Derivation. The eastward speed of propagation of these waves can be derived for an inviscid slowly moving layer of fluid of uniform depth h because the Coriolis parameter f equals 2 ohms sin theta where omega is the angular velocity of the earth 7.2921 times 10 minus 5 radians per second and theta is latitude vanishes at 0 degrees latitude equator the equatorial beta plane approximation must be made this approximation states that f is approximately equal to beta y, where y is the distance from the equator and beta is the variation of the Coriolis parameter with latitude. f y equals beta. Display style frac partial f partial y equals beta. With the inclusion of this approximation, the primitive equations become neglecting friction. The continuity equation accounting for the effects of horizontal convergence and divergence and written with geopotential height phi t plus c 2 v y plus u x equals 0 Display style frac partial phi partial t plus c caret two left frac partial v partial y plus frac partial u partial x right equals zero. The u momentum equation zonal wind component u t minus v beta y equals minus phi x Display style frac partial u partial t v beta y equals frac partial phi partial x. The v momentum equation meridional wind component v t plus u beta y equals minus phi y. Display style frac partial v partial t plus u beta y equals frac partial phi partial y. These three equations can be separated and solved using solutions in the form of zonally propagating waves, which are analogous to exponential solutions with a dependence on x and t and the inclusion of structure functions that vary in the y direction. U v phi equals u carrot y v carrot y phi carrot y e i k x minus omega t Display style begin B matrix U V Phi end B matrix equals begin B matrix hat U Y hat V Y hat Phi Y end B matrix E carrot I K X Omega T Once the frequency relation is formulated in terms of Omega, the angular frequency, the problem can be solved with three distinct solutions. These three solutions correspond to the equatorially trapped gravity wave, the equatorially trapped Rossby wave and the mixed Rossby gravity wave which has some of the characteristics of the former two. Equatorial gravity waves can be either westward or eastward propagating, and correspond to n equals 1 same as for the equatorially trapped Rossby wave on a dispersion relation diagram. WK diagram. At n equals zero on a dispersion relation diagram, the mixed Rossby gravity waves can be found where for large, positive zonal wave numbers plus k, the solution behaves like a gravity wave, but for large, negative zonal wave numbers minus k, the solution appears to be a Rossby wave hence the term Rossby gravity waves. 
As mentioned earlier, the group velocity or energy packet dispersion is always directed toward the east with a maximum for short waves gravity waves. equals topic vertically propagating Rossby gravity waves equals as previously stated, the mixed Rossby gravity waves are equatorially trapped waves unless the buoyancy frequency remains constant, introducing an additional vertical wave number to complement the zonal wave number and angular frequency. If this brunt vijala frequency does not change, then these waves become vertically propagating solutions. On a typical M, K, Dispersion diagram, the group velocity energy would be directed at right angles to the n equals zero mixed Rossby gravity waves and n equals one gravity or Rossby waves curves and would increase in the direction of increasing angular frequency. Typical group velocities for each component are the following, 1 cm per second for gravity waves and 2 mm per second for planetary Rossby waves. These vertically propagating mixed Rossby gravity waves were first observed in the stratosphere as westward propagating mixed waves by M. Yanai. They had the following characteristics, 4 to 5 days, horizontal wave numbers of 4, four waves circling the Earth, corresponding to wavelengths of 10,000 km, vertical wavelengths of 4 to 8 km, and upward group velocity. Similarly, westward propagating mixed waves were also found in the Atlantic Ocean by Weisberg et al. 1979 with periods of 31 days, horizontal wavelengths of 1,200 km, vertical wavelengths of 1 km, and downward group velocity. Also, the vertically propagating gravity wave component was found in the stratosphere with periods of 35 hours, horizontal wavelengths of 2,400 km, and vertical wavelengths of 5 km. <laughs> <laughs> See also Rossby wave Equatorial Rossby wave